hey you guys welcome back to my channel so as you can tell by the title today we're going to be doing a fragrance haul this one is from rebel sense shout out to rebel sense for being um just amazing to shop with just really good business and they were really fast with their shipping all my items came wrapped nicely packaged nicely it wasn't damaged and i just love like their whole um ordering system and I like that we can also use the shop app so that we can track our orders. Basically on Rebel Sense you could get high end luxury fragrances for a fraction of the price which is very true because for Christmas I actually was eyeing the YSL Libre fragrance that they do have on their website as well however it was sold out so I couldn't get my hands on it so I did ask my mom to pick me up that fragrance and honestly I was going to tell her just get on Rebel Sense, get on Rebel Sense. However, um, it was sold out and I didn't really know if I waited too long, like would it be back in stock in time for when I wanted it. So she ended up getting it elsewhere and honestly, she paid way more than she would have if she would have spent on Rebel Sense. That's why I absolutely love Rebel Sense because you get luxury perfumes for the fraction of the price and I feel like you get enough to where you can use it up and still repurchase another bottle. I feel like sometimes when I get the really really big bottles of perfume I tend to not use it up quickly and then as you know sometimes yes perfumes do go bad so you kind of have to like use it quick enough in the right amount of time. So yeah that's just another little quick tidbit on Rebel Scents. Pretty much just one of those hauls how on how to smell grown and sexy. It's not really a tutorial on how to do it. You just you just do it. It's a, it's a scent. There's nothing much you can do but to wear it and wear it well and make sure that it complements your, your skin and your body chemistry. I would say like, you know, your your body chemistry. So Rebel Scents, um, they're located in Miami. Um, I'm located in Fort Lauderdale, which is really, really close, like 30 minutes away. So for me, shipping was not really that bad i felt like when i placed other orders during this time it took a little bit longer but um because of the covid and stuff like that so with my first order i ordered five items from rebel sense i'm not gonna go in order i guess i could go in order of my most favorites to my least favorites but honestly that wouldn't be fair because to be honest i enjoy all of the fragrances they smell really really nicely i would just wear each of them for a different occasion or a different mood so this is the box that everything came in. It comes in a really, 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 really big box. And it is like good quality. It's packaged well. Um, when you first open it, there was a lot of, um, of that like bubble popcorn type of wrap in there. So I just went ahead and took that out. But yeah, then it has um, this cute little flap in here with some marketing on there. It says a scented revolution, the real deal, personalized and affordable. So up to 60% off fragrances you love and that is true because sometimes they have like already discounted items plus you get additional discounts on top of that. And for me when I was shopping during the holiday season every single day like they would kind of send you an email and it would have like different coupons that you could use to um, purchase your fragrances. So I ended up getting $30 off my first order which is really really good. And I only end up spending $2.97, I believe. For five perfumes plus a travel size, $2.97 is a really, really, really good deal. So everything comes packaged in really nice boxes, like you can see. Everything was individually packaged and sealed. They had like the plastic wrapping over it, which I liked. Everything was like in mint pristine condition. Nothing was like um like open, damaged dented anything like that so let's just jump right into it i'm gonna start with um the light i'll say the light dainty scent and move into the more like stronger scent so the first one i'm gonna talk about is this chloe this one smells super 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 good this one is the Uday toilet so this one was 59.95 after everything was said and done um it smells super super good this is really light mm. And when I wear this, I feel very, very, very classy, um, very rich, like. And I've already went ahead and sprayed the fragrances into the cap, so I already um, have like a reference on what these smell like. This is a Eau de Toilette, so it's not as strong as a perfume. That means it's not gonna be as like long lasting. You might have to take this with you and touch up. Honestly, I have this in a travel size and I decided I was going to get the big size because I was like, why not? I actually do like this fragrance. And the reason why I even fell in love with this fragrance is because I have a um, client 
Um, she's a doctor, and whenever she comes to do her makeup with me, she always wears this scent right here, and it smells so yummy. Like I absolutely love it. I just be like, mmm, like so, so good. So the top note of this is bergamot. The heart is white rose and magnolia. That's probably why I like this because I really, really, really like the scent magnolia. Philosophy. They have a fragrance called. Um, Oh my god, I literally cannot remember it, but I have it right there with me. And it smells so, so, so good. And the base of it is Magnolia. It smells so good. And the base of this one is Cedar and Musk. This smells so good. So this is a classic type of floral smell. To be honest, it does smell florally. I would get more floral than like fruity, to be honest. But this is one of those floral scents that I actually enjoy. They also said this has gardenia in there, so... You need to check this out because this is really like light and dainty for like daytime. I would wear this to church. I could wear this to church, brunch, like I wouldn't say a first date. I wouldn't put this on for a first date. But this is definitely a really classy scent. I like her. So the next one I'm going to show you guys. This one smells so, 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 so good. And honestly, this is like the baddie fragrance, okay? Like a lot of baddies on Instagram be wearing this one. So this one is the Burberry Her. I actually have this one on today and it smells so pretty. I spray it in my hair, like on my wrist. It just smells super, super, super fruity. It smells like champagne mixed with like pears and apples and it's like a fruity fresh smell, in my opinion. Now let's see what the website says about this. So on Rebel Sense, this is actually $53. Like regular retail price, it is $97. So baby, like you're actually getting a really, 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 really good deal. Really good deal. So let's see. The top note is blackcurrant, blueberry, and raspberry. So you see I was getting that like fruity type of scent. It smells so good. The heart is jasmine accord and violet accord. And then the base is musk and dry amber. This smells so pretty. Like I already sprayed some on right before I put on the camera. So I'm not going to like overdo it because... I don't want to be overwhelmed and actually love this fragrance and I definitely will be repurchasing this. Like, I feel like as soon as it runs out, I'm going to be repurchasing this. I feel like how you could tell if something is like a really good um, fragrance is if you look at the reviews on Rebel Sense and also the like the star ratings. If something has like a lot of reviews, like this one has 71 reviews. 71. That's a lot. So you know it's a good, good, good fragrance. <sighs> she smells really pretty. Again, light daytime dainty i would wear this to a first date i wear this um just hanging out with my girlfriends anywhere that that's daytime like a picnic a brunch date just anything daytime ish it's really really lightweight and really pretty so i wanted to mention the only the only oude toilet that i got in this haul is the chloe all the other fragrances will be oude parfum so that means they are stronger they are more oil based Oude toilets are more alcohol based and it's more like a finer mist, not as strong and potent. It doesn't tend to last as long. Capiche? Okay, so let's move it along. Let's move along because this one, I absolutely love this one. Like, this one smells really, 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 really pretty. Now, this one is the C by Giorgio Armani. Now, don't get this one confused because there is like three different ones. There's like this bottle here, then there's like a bottle that almost has like a pinky tone to it like a more solid color and then there's this one here the red one I absolutely love this one this was like my first one I ever purchased and this one smells really pretty I did not get this from Rebel Sense I actually purchased this at Macy's and I got it as a gift for Christmas so that one smells really really yummy this one I would say this is more daytime evening this is this is giving me like fruity but with a little bit of floral this smells really, really fancy. This smells really, really pretty. And the bottle is really elegant. They they both have this type of like bottle on top. So on Rebel Sense, this is $97. And I got this for $69.95. And like I said, this is a great deal. This is a 1.7 ounce. And I feel like for me, like I absolutely am in love with fragrances right now. I don't know what it is. I'm just been on a hunt on how to just smell grown, sexy, classy. Just how to smell like really, really pretty and elegant and just have like a scent that matches every occasion. That's what I'm kind of going for these days. So, and I feel like when you get older and you become more mature or just 
when you're switching from phases like maybe a teen to a young woman a young woman to a grown woman like a young lady to a grown woman you know type of phase you want to make sure that you have like scents to match those you don't want scents that are like too young and too fruity where it's just like mm, but you want to smell like grown and sex at the same time but you also don't want to smell like an old rich lady if that makes sense because <laughs> you know those fragrances that make you smell like just really mature but old and it's not like a, the good kind you know <laughs> it's not the good kind baby trust me so the website says this is a floral for me i get floral and fruity but i guess like once you mention it i i can see where they get the the florals from because it really does smell really pretty but i would wear this more so in the daytime and the evening not really so much night but this one is a kind of like a step up from like the burberry hair like you know in that range i would say this is more like stronger like mm. but it's very like sweet and also like playful i would say this is like yummy like if you smell yourself or someone smells you i feel like they were like wow it just smells like a beautiful girl <laughs> i don't know how to describe that but the top notes on this one is black currant the heart is airy florals and the base is musky blonde wood and what i like about rebel scents they do have like other sizes too so you don't only have to get the 1.7 you can get the one ounce i know they have like a 1.7 ounce they have a 1.6 ounce they have a 3.3 ounce they have just different ounces to fit your needs this one is so good like i would definitely repurchase this one again for my first order to be honest i wasn't disappointed at all with anything that i purchased like i said i already had the chloe one beforehand so that wasn't really like a surprise to me however the other one the next one I'm gonna go ahead and get into is really yummy. This one is another, I would say this is a evening nighttime smell. This is not really like daytime. I guess you could wear this in the day. I would say you could wear this in the daytime, but more so in interview. This one is the Gucci Guilty, the Uday Parfum. And this is the Parfum. This one I get like, <sighs> all right, I have to respray this one because I feel like it kind of dried up into the thing. Another good way that you can test out your fragrances without actually having to spray them is just spraying a little bit into your cap and then you know you can always cover it back so next time you have to wear your fragrance you don't have to spray every single one or just like waste the spray into the air because I feel like that's kind of pointless sometimes and it just wastes a perfectly good spray. So you just put it in the cap just a little bit and you wait till it dries down and you just smell it. Now this is giving me like really fresh to be honest you could probably wear this one in the daytime to be honest but just like like a really important important occasion like that's how i feel like this is not just oh we're going to branch like like i don't know i feel like this could be like a universal thing you could wear this in the nighttime too to be honest but this one's really sexy i don't know why i smell powder in this one but i'm gonna tell you what the website says so currently this one is sold out on rebel sites guys like <laughs> sold out i paid 59.99 for this gucci guilty and i got the 1.6 ounce this one is floral sweet and fruity so i feel like those are all <laughs> all of my scents that i enjoy mixed all in one because i love florals but i like it more sweet and fruity like i don't really like florals that are more how do you say that like really overpowering and just like gives you a headache like a headache like i don't really like overly sweet but this one smells good i like sweet but not overly powering sweet like this smells like really classy very um i will wear this on a date night not the first date maybe the fourth date hell maybe even the second date i don't know like this one is like okay you made it to round two bring it on babes bring it on <laughs> all right so let's see on the website it says the top notes is mandora bergamot pink pepper the middle notes are lilac rose violet and geranium oil and then the base is patchouli oils and amber now if you guys are familiar with patchouli patchouli is a very like mm, it's a very like out there type of scent it's very strong especially like 
when you mix oils into like perfume because like I said perfumes already are oil based but when you add like other oils into it it really makes it like chef's kiss chef's kiss to be honest the reason why I even like went out and bought these perfumes because I was watching Kyra like I said I love her YouTube channel and I always watch her so shout out to you girl because I was inspired to get fragrances because to be honest I've been on my grown and sexy for a while now so i just wanted to up it up a notch like i already have like a wide range of fragrances which i want to do a fragrance collection soon for you guys and show you guys what i have in my arsenal of smell goods now this one right here baby like to be honest i've never smelled the female version of this one but when i smelled the male version of this one i was like oh no we have to we have to like write this down and make sure we get it for our favorite boo for christmas <laughs> around some time last year i actually did a fragrance training class because you guys know i used to work in cosmetics so sometimes we have like cosmetics and fragrance training and then some of the vendors would come in and they would give you like fragrances and they would just give you like little samples to try out and they would just talk about the fragrance so when they were speaking on their um you know the whole fragrance line they did have the male version to the Paco Robain and um that smelled super 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 yummy so I was like oh my god I need to write that down I need to get it it just smells so good it just smells so good like I need it currently this one is sold out on Rebel Sense this is the Paco Robain Lady Million two-piece set I got the two-piece set because I'm not even sure <laughs> I'm not even sure why. I think that's all they had was a two-piece set. So I didn't really mind it. I felt like I still got the size that I wanted. It comes with the 2.7, which is way bigger than the like a 1.7 or something like that. It comes with 2.7 ounces. So girl. And this was $66. So it was really not that bad for a 2.7 ounce plus a travel size. Like that's really, really good. Cause this by itself, honestly, if you were to just go to like a department store in the fragrance department like you would probably spend like 20 to 30 dollars for this this right here now this one is a little bit hard to smell from the the um cap so that's why i enjoyed that they had like a travel size because what i personally did i just took a little bit of the spray and i sprayed it into the travel size cap so that way you know you could do it that way or honestly like the travel size already has a spray cap on it so that's all i did was spray into it and smelt it that way this one smells really really rich and luxurious like this one is really really fancy like oh you got money huh you got money she got money girl she got money <laughs> like literally it smells so good like it's giving me boss bitch vibes like literally lady million it just speaks for itself the whole name now this is definitely a nighttime smell i feel like this is not really for the daytime this will be getting a job at like as a CEO or just like a really high position. <laughs> this is this is the fragrance that your boss wears or your boss's boss wears. This reminds me of like when I smell this, this makes me want to drink whiskey, like drink brown liquor with ice in it and put on a robe by the fireplace. Can you guys imagine that? Like <laughs> and it's crazy that I said fireplace because literally on the website it says this is a fresh woody floral and I definitely do pick that up this one's really really sexy and this also has patchouli in there this is where I'm just like oh okay anything with patchouli is very like strong smelling it's very like bam like in your face so the top notes of this one is raspberry amal amalfi lemon okay and neroli neroli oil also smells really good too i actually have um an essential oil in the neroli oil that i use in my little um oil diffuser at night that smells super good the heart of this one is jasmine african orange flower and gardenia and the base is honey and patchouli honey smells really really yummy So the bottle looks really, really, really pretty and luxurious, just really fancy. Like, it speaks for itself. It looks like a diamond, but also like a brick of gold. The male version of this also looks like a actual brick of gold. And it's just really, really, really 
sexy. I feel like if this was a his, well, there is a his and her fragrance. So I feel like if you get the one for yourself, you should definitely get it for the man in your life. If there is a man in your life or a loved one, you know, you don't necessarily have to have a boot to have been in your life but yeah so that was it for the haul if you guys enjoyed any of these scents let me know comment down below what is your favorite fragrance stick around for the part two of this haul because that is coming up soon i was so in love and just like perfume crazy i went ahead and made a second order so stay tuned for that haul that will be coming up really really soon comment down below which one is was your favorite fragrance or if you have tried any of these or you want to try any of these comment down below my favorite 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 ones i can't even tell you which one's my favorite but if i were to maybe just pick two that i can only wear um i can't <laughs> but i can pick three i can pick three these two the Burberry her and the georgia armani c mm -mm 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 -mm. i love those and then the gucci guilty poor femme love these three the others I absolutely love too, don't get me wrong, but um, if I would just pick three and wind it down to have, like I would just pick those three. Like these are right up my alley, they're really like light, dainty, like just really pretty smelling, really pretty smelling. All the links to the perfumes that I purchased will be down below. If there is a code that they're currently using, I will link it down below as well. I don't believe that the code that I use is even active anymore because I use that around the holiday time. So. If it is, I will put it down below. All these fragrances, I feel like no matter which one you get, like, is a good buy, to be honest. It just depends on what your mood is, what you're feeling for. But the good thing with these, at least you're not paying, like, full price for them. <laughs> um, so even if you do get a fragrance that you may not like, you could always gift it to someone. I'm not sure if you can return them. But you could always check their website for all that type of information. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.